Hello again, this is SLT. Um, what I wanted to show you today, uh, Shelly was asking about putting some detail on some leaves and let's actually do something with it. I made a little pinch pot. This is uh, like I usually use, it's Windsor porcelain. I just love the feel of this stuff. It's awesome. It's a little more expensive, but it's some great stuff. So I've got my little pinch pot and I've rolled up a piece of plastic in the middle here. We're going to make sort of a little vase. And I've cut out four random leaf shapes. They're nothing special, nothing great. And I've had them sitting here on this towel just for a little while. They are nowhere near leather hard. They're still very pliable. And we're going to put them on here. I didn't even bring most of my tools in from the studio. With this being wet, it's really not even necessary to score and slip too much. Now the slip that I've got prepared here for this is uh, waterier than I want it to be. <coughs> Excuse me. It's pretty much just plain slip with the exception that it is only Windsor porcelain slip. When I was throwing in the studio a couple of days ago, um, I had piled some up just that came off as I was throwing and I let it sit there and dry and I actually put it in the blender this morning with some warm water and what we end up with is a very smooth slip. This Windsor porcelain doesn't have any grog in it. So there should be no lumps bumps, sandy stuff, nothing like that in our slip. I'm just going to get ahead of myself and put a few little score marks on there. I keep my slip in different size bottles with different size tips. And I keep them upside down all the time. That keeps the air from getting into them and then whenever I'm ready to use them, they're ready. If you can see what I'm doing, I am just mushing this on here. and. With both of the clays being as wet as they are, I really don't even need to use the slip. But we're going to do it just as a precaution. These two leaves right here, I'm just going to kind of squeeze together right there at that point. Let's turn the whole thing so we can kind of see what we're doing. pressing everything in there. Got one leaf left, so 
Let's make sure we get it all the way around there and what we can do just to be on the safe side take our leaf and slap it a little bit let's make it a little fatter than it was slip marks on the pinch pot, did I? What I'm using here is just a piece of plywood that is covered with canvas and I love working on it. If I need to wedge some clay out that's a little wet, it'll dry wedging on this board. I do some slip trail work on this board that I want to show you sometime, but uh, I'm probably not going to have time today. But there's a lot of fun things you can do with just a little canvas covered board. I'm just making sure we're going to be watertight here. If we're going to be a base, we need to be able to hold water. Let's squeeze all this together a little bit. Now these are leaves. Obviously, I hope. So leaves can be pretty much any shape. Still just squeezing. Now I'm going to round the bottom out a little bit. Make sure everything is good to go on the bottom. trying to curl this leaf on purpose. It just doesn't want to curl where I want it to. I want to leave some of these a little bit taller. scrunching that one and make him stay up. Alright, so that's going to be part one of the video. We're going to come back when this has dried a little bit and put some details into it. And we're going to have kind of a cool little vase there. So make sure that you check with part two. This is SLT saying I guess keep slabbing today. <laughs>